Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to introduce you to an app called What Three Words and how we might be able to utilize that with ham radio. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So this is an app that I've been using for the last two, maybe three years now, and I love this application, but I run into quite a few people that have never heard of it. And the application just simplifies GPS coordinates, and it's available on all of the major platforms. So it's available for iPhones, Androids, and it's available on the computer through a website. It's super easy to use, and I can teach anyone how to use it in about three minutes. So first, we'll jump over to the website, and I'll show you that. Then we'll move to the application on my iPhone, and then we'll take a look at how we might can utilize this with ham radio. Okay, so here we are on the map, and we're looking at New York City Hall right here, right in the center of the screen. And you'll notice this grid pattern all over the monitor here. Well, if you click on any one of these squares, you will see that you get, right up here in the top left-hand corner, a different set of three words. So if I click there, I get one set of three words. If I click over here, I get a different set of three words. And if I remember right, I believe each grid on the map is a 10 foot by 10 foot grid. So it's fairly precise in its location. Now stick around for a second. I am going to show you kind of a pitfall of using this application. But once you've got your square selected, you can either save that right up here in the top left corner. You can navigate to it or you can share this. And on the computer, we might utilize email for sharing it or another application that's on our computers. But the awesome thing about this application is how precise it is and someone doesn't need to know anything about navigation or latitude and longitude to be able to use this. It's as simple as telling someone the three words of your current location. Now, let's talk about a pitfall real quick. I am going to come up here and clear this and I am going to navigate to these three words and take a look at where it places us on the map. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit and this happened actually to me recently and that's why I want to bring it up and show it to you guys. Uh, me and a friend of mine have been utilizing this to share each other's locations. Uh, but let's zoom out just a little bit here and you'll be able to see that he was right here on the western side of South Dakota when he shared this location. However, when this came into me as a text message, instead of these three words, I messed up the very last word. So instead of subdued, I put subdue. So let's go ahead and take off that D. So literally one letter difference and let's go ahead and press enter. And as you can see, that is a long ways from where he was actually located. So you do have to be uh, kind of careful whether a word is plural or not. Uh, sometimes one letter can get you way off on the map. But if you were expecting somebody to be here in the States, like I was, and you type this in and it comes up in Somalia, well, you're going to know right away that something is wrong. Okay, so over on the phone, I have zoomed in to Sharp Springs Park, which is the location where we do field date, and I clicked on one of those squares. Now, you could do this a couple of different ways. If you were wanting to share your location, you could go ahead and click on a square on the screen. If someone had sent you their location, you could type their three words in the search box there at the top. But clicking on the square gives me the three words that you see there in the search box. So if I choose a different square, you'll see that the three words change. Now, if I want to navigate to that, 
I simply click the navigate button at the bottom of the screen and it'll pop up and give me a couple of different options to be able to navigate to that. If we were driving to it, you might use Google Maps or Apple Maps or Waze. You can even click on the compass here and it will give you a compass heading so that you could walk to that particular square if you preferred. Now, just like on the website, we also have a share button. If we click that, that will allow us to send out an email or a text message that contains our three-word location, and it'll give the recipient a link that they can click on so that they could view that either on the website or in the app, provided they have it installed on their phone. Now, how can we utilize this with ham radio? Well, we would utilize this if we wanted to share our location, and we could do that uh, with a multitude of different applications. One is we could use JSA Call, or we could use one of JSA Call's protocols where we send an email or a text message using JSA Call. You could also send your three-word location in a WinLink message, or you might utilize SMS GTE, which is a service that allows you to send a APRS message from your radio and have it delivered to someone's cell phone as a text message. So several different ways we might incorporate this into ham radio. I hope you guys found this information helpful. Be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.